Beauty by Altavis. How to create a long-lasting manicure. Hi everyone. So I'll be starting this process with my bare nails. I did, however, have to add some clear dip powder to my thumbs because when one cracked, the other one wanted to crack also. They like to match like that sometimes. So I'm starting with my base coat. And I'll just apply a layer to each nail and give it maybe a minute to dry. This base coat dries pretty quickly. So to avoid any more mishaps with breaks in any of the other nails, some splits here or there, I decided I really needed to get thorough with my manicure routine because I really like to avoid wearing dip powder sets too often because you do have to soak them off in order to get all of the product off of your nail and I like to get all the product off my nail before I start a new manicure. So in order to keep the strength of my natural nails, I try my best to rock my natural nails as often as possible, only relying on nail polish and my maintenance routine for the strength and the growth of my nails. I will be adding a second layer of base coat just to fortify the nails a little bit more before I add the color. I will be using a sheer color that is buildable. It is also a neutral color that complements anything that I want to wear. As you can see, I am painting under the nail as well to help fully encapsulate the nail so that it is fortified on the top of the nail plate as well as underneath. This helps in keeping out moisture longer than uh, the average manicure, as well as be more chip resistant. So I will be adding several layers of polish, starting with base coat, then with the color, and I'll put several coats of the color because it is sheer and buildable. With each layer, because the color is sheer, it will dry pretty quickly. So it will be easy for me to just pile on the polish and get this manicure done pretty fast. When you're doing a basic manicure, you don't want it to take all day, but you do want it to be done well. So I am meticulous about making sure I catch the corners and the ends and fully saturating the nail with polish starting from base coat to color to top coat and once this all dries I'll be able to start layering on the sheer color and when I add the sheer color I will do a coat of the sheer underneath the nail as well this green nail strengthener is by Julep and it is from the Cured line of polish. So in staying with this line of polish called Cured, this is called Take a Breather. This is the sheer color I'll be using. It's a bit of a peachy pink. It's very soft and it has some opalescent shimmer to it. So it's a little bit fancy. And I love the sheerness of it because I can apply as many coats to my satisfaction of how saturated in color I want it to be. So there may be days when you want to see your own nail peeking through a polish. And sometimes you don't want to see your nails peeking through. You want your nail completely immersed in a color. And with sheer polishes such as this one, you have that option. So even though my thumbnails do have the clear acrylic and they don't really need polish underneath, just for the sake of you seeing me do the whole process, I am applying polish under the thumbnails as well. This polish is practically streak free. It's so easy to use and a good polish that is easy to use is so important, especially if you're new to taking care of your own nails and you want to build your confidence that you can create a lasting manicure that looks really pretty, get yourself a good polish 
that has some color and is easy to work with and lays down smoothly and evenly on your nails. It's one of the ways to make your nails look really finished and well put together. So this is just one layer and it's already starting to come together and look like something. But I'm not satisfied with that. I want some more color. So after applying a coat to my right hand, I'm definitely going to go back for a, another layer just to see how saturated the color will come out with that and see if I'm happy with it. So here we are now with the second layer. And there's definitely more saturation. You don't see the outline of my nail anymore. So two layers might be enough, but we'll see. I've got to do the rest of the nails first and give it a chance to dry. And then I'll really know if I have the coverage that I want. But so far, this neutral color is really nice. It may not show up so well, but it really does have almost a uh, soft rose gold look to it. Some of these colors you really just have to get in person to appreciate the richness and actualization of the color. But however it comes across, you can see that this color is very neutral. It will not clash with other colors. It will be a complement to anything that you wear. And you do want your nails to complement. You want them to almost be like an accessory to your wardrobe. So wearing colors that blend well with whatever you might decide to wear is great nail polish strategic planning. So after seeing how the nail polish dried down on my thumb, I could still see the outline of my nail peeking through. So a third coat is in order. And the third coat looks pretty thorough. I don't see the outline, but I'll still have to let it dry to be sure. So while I'm painting the rest of these nails, the thumbnail will dry and I'll be able to take a look in a little bit just to see if it gives me the coverage that I want. But like I said, this sheer polish is very buildable. I've just been slathering one layer on after the next and it still lays down smooth. There's no streaking. This polish is very easy to work with. I use this polish quite often when I'm in between styling my nails and I just want to maintain them and make my nails chip resistant. The third layer is still giving me some good coverage. However, I can still see my nail coming through so it's still a bit too sheer and that's not quite the look I'm going for this go around. So I'll be back for another layer. So I'll just show you the second application of polish on my right hand really quick. Because by now you get the idea. Polish the top and polish the bottom. Up until now, it has probably seemed like a very daunting task to try to grow your own nails. It is nice to be in control of the length of your nails. You may not have wanted to grow them very long. You may have just wanted to have a little bit of length, just enough to hang over the cushion of your finger to have some flexibility with how you want to style your nails. But you haven't been able to keep all your nails the same length at the same time. This is one of the methods that I use to keep all my nails the same length, no matter how long or short I want them. I love this polish so much, I'm already going in for my third layer after just applying the second layer to my right hand, and there are no mishaps. 
The polish is laying down smooth. There are no streaks. The polish is not clumping up. I love this because I don't want my manicures to take an hour every single time I do my nails. I would like to do a quick 15 to 20 minute manicure and be done with it. And it looks good. That is ideal. The thing is, you really need the right products in order to be able to just breeze through your manicure this fast. So I do love to share with you what I'm using so you can get the same results. I also take supplements that build the health of my nails, such as biotin and collagen, which also build the strength of your hair. So you can have the option to grow your hair out as long as you want your hair to be, just like you can grow your nails to the length that you are happy with. These nails are looking good, but I definitely have to go back and add another layer to my left hand. Here comes that extra layer. Oh, this is so nice. This was easy and pretty, easy and pretty. This is what we want in life. Effortless beauty, right? So of course I have to finish this off with my favorite top coat, Sachet Beat. I did let my nails dry down completely. So this top coat will go on streak free. It'll just glide over the nails without disrupting the polish at all. And this top coat just adds an extra layer of fortification. It is a high shine and I will also be applying it under the nail as well. So now you can see that there are several layers of polish on the top of the nails. And by adding the top coat as well to the top and underside of the nail, I have my nails completely encapsulated. They are very chip resistant. I have used quality products that have really good ingredients in them to nourish the nails and protect them from little mishaps and accidents. You know, sometimes you are just doing a little bit too much with your hands. You're being very aggressive as you reach for something. You might be a little bit impatient and you're just doing things very quickly and haphazardly and oops, you hit the nail. And you pause for a second because you're afraid to look. <laughs> that has happened to me so many times. Um, but fortunately, since I am usually very much on top of my nail care routine, when I look down at my nail after hitting it and being, you know, a bit concerned that I may have a little trouble, I'm very happily surprised to see that the nail is still intact. It is such a good feeling to not be overly worried about your nails when you have been taking the time regularly to oversee their maintenance and their beauty. So it comes in handy knowing how to care for your nails so that you can get the results that you want. And it really keeps those little nail traumas down to a minimum because it is very unnerving to have a beautiful set of nails and one just cracks beyond repair well seemingly beyond repair because i've definitely shared with you some of the things that i do when that does happen to me but i try to keep it to a minimum by maintaining my nails so even if i'm not doing anything fancy with them i'll do something like this really fast just to keep them protected and looking cute because we like compliments Yes, we want the onlookers to be so compelled by the beauty and loveliness of the nails that they just have to tell you, oh, your nails just look so pretty. And then we say, thank you. <laughs> and of course, after all of this dries, and it will dry quickly because Seche Vit is a fast drying top coat, I will be applying cuticle oil to the tops of my nails and the underside. The oil helps to keep your nails flexible so when they bend, they don't break. So it's just 
important to do all of the steps. Paint them to your heart's desire, add the cuticle oil at the end, and keep adding cuticle oil every single day if you think of it, especially at night. Before you go to sleep, you can just do a quick drizzle of cuticle oil. And every day to maintain your manicure, you can add a top coat. Just add a layer of top coat to the top of your nails every single day for about five to seven days. And maybe every other day, put a layer underneath the nail as well. And your nails will be fully encapsulated and ready for life and ready for your daily activities. Hope you've enjoyed this. Bye for now.